Hello, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. Today I've decided to play with a new product Stamperia has released and this is the Contour product. Four amazing colours. You've got white, old gold, iridescent and the gold. So these have only just arrived at Paper Flourish in the last couple of days. So I've decided to have a play. I've seen a video that Vicky um, from Stamperia has released. And so I thought it was time to give these products a test run. Now these are a really, have a really fine tip. So you get a beautiful fine um, application. So it's really tiny. Look at that. And so I thought we'll have a play and see what these products can do. Um, I've got said white and black cardstock, so I'd like to see what they look like on both. So let's start off with the white. Now inside these, you do have to break the seal there and then just pop the tip back on. Just squirt it on my finger, well done. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Now this is not going to show up as well on your white, but I'm just gonna do a fine line there of the white. Same on here, on the black. Of course, it'll show up a lot better on the black. So easy to apply. Of course, the more you squeeze it, the thicker that line's going to be. Fantastic for snow. Think of your Christmas cards and things. Just adding a touch of snow um, to, to whatever you're working on or into your card. This is an, um, a mould I was working on yesterday. And it's going on a canvas, which you will see f shortly in a video or it might even go on Instagram. I'm not sure yet. But I've added some of the iridescent contour just to the bottom of the window. So it looks like it's got snow has fallen onto the windowsill, onto the ledge. If you can see that. But it's it was so easy to do. And that was with the iridescent. So this is the white. I could have used the white there um, as well just to add that snow. I put some on the roof too. So just touches of that product. Okay, what else can we do with this amazing thing? So I've seen Becky grab a ruler and do a line. Let's see if it works. Check that out. How easy was that? Um, so again, you can go really thin. You can go thicker. You can do pearls. Isn't that easy? So easy to do. I saw Vicky do this one. I've had a little bit of a practice with this with the gold where you stop and start just leaving a little bead there. So it kind of gives a bit of a lacy finish. You could even go further in between, I guess, to, and then stop. I like that finish too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the white. So I've done most of that on the black. So of course, it shows up a bit more for you on the black. This is the old gold. Now, I don't think I've opened that yet. So you can see it's got a seal in it there. I'll just get my something there just to break that seal. Oh, this colour looks sensational. Old gold. Let's try it on the white first. That is a beautiful gold colour. You see that? How rich is that colour? Let's try it out on the black. Oh, that was a bit interesting, Julie. Try that again. I did an air bubble in it there. Might have just been the way I was using it, I think. There we are. That's better. Little pearls. Beautiful colour. Look at the shine on that. So adding accents and just highlights to your project. It does take, the lines don't take too long to dry. The little beads take a little bit longer. So you think of it as your finishing touch on your project. This thing, iridescent. I have used that. As I said, I use it on the mould. Beautiful, sparkly, iridescent. I'll show you them both again. It's not going to, you can see it on the white. Very sparkly. You can see there the shine. It's almost got some kind of like shiny, almost like glittery look to it. Gorgeous for snow as well. We're just adding sparkle. Add some little little water droplets onto your flowers, things like that to make them shimmer and shine. So I like that one as well. Like all of them, that's the problem. This is the gold. So this is more your brighter gold. A 
that's really nice too so you can see there the difference between the gold and the old gold beautiful beautiful shine on that product is stunning and it shows up beautifully on the black there too so it's just a matter of playing whether you want the lines you want the beads use it as a border little accents i've used it just this morning i was doing and this is a video which if you haven't seen it already it'll be up soon i just used the gold in the middle of the butterflies isn't it pretty so it's so easy to use now one thing that i got extremely excited about when i saw vicky did do this on her video was Let's pop that to the side. Is that you can use this product as a splatter? So I'm going to do the let's do the old gold. Oh, I keep undoing that, I keep forgetting that you just have to take the top bit off. Okay, squirt a little bit out there, and then with my water bottle, I'm just going to wet that down a little bit, mix it around. be interesting and then I'm going to go split 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 where's the black let's bring the black in might as well do that on this as well apparently when this dries it is gold that's better so on your mixed media projects or your cards so we'll just give that a quick dry and let's see the results see what happens Wow, that is exciting. Look at how that's dried. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at it on the white. So when I put it on, it had a bit of a funny colour to it. But as it's dried, that beautiful metallic finish has come out. I just want to try the iridescent. Should we try the iridescent? I'm curious to see how this, this splatters. The white will be amazing as well i just want to play with it all not sure how this is going to work but we'll find out i'm hoping it does like a little sparkle i'm going to do it on the black okay here we go okay so there it is there splattered on the black so at the moment it just looks like a bit of a milky white let me dry that and see what happens now i'm really hoping you could the camera can pick this up because when i looked at it i went oh that's not much and then the light caught it and i went oh well look at that that's cool so that's the iridescent so you'd be able to splatter any of these four colors um absolutely gorgeous Oh, I'm in love with that. Okay, so that's something that definitely you can do with this amazing product. I saw Vicky just decorating die cuts. These are some of the beautiful die cuts from the um, Christmas Greetings collection. So I might go on with the gold. So there's some lines on this. By the way, this is already dried, that line. The thicker aren't quite dry yet so you're going to need to leave maybe the beads and things for maybe a couple of hours to dry the lines the thinner will dry quicker so i'm just going to do a thin line across i'm just following the lines on the die cut here and again once that dries that pretty just to add the shimmer and just that little bit of a raised um, sort of highlight onto your die cuts. So I think that's really nice to do as well. I can even see, uh, where's the white? Oh, I'm having fun here. Um, I'm just going to do a little bead in the middle. Oops, and, and put my finger in the gold. Well done, Julie. I forgot about that being there. I'll fix that up. I'll add an extra line onto that. You can wipe it off course not once it's dried so I'm just adding little beads of white but there we go see the little raised white bits it's cute isn't it just play when you get a new product play with it and see what it does I'm sure this is only the beginning of what these amazing products can do well done Stamperia this is stunning um, these are available 
in store at Paper Flourish and online paperflourish.com.au. Stunning, stunning product. Thank you so much for joining me and watching. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy playing with your products. Thanks. Bye.